So here in Photoshop we're going to have a look at a few different ways in which we can mirror objects and also some of the stumbling blocks if you're working with different kinds of objects that you want to mirror. So the first thing we're going to do is jump in and just mirror a basic object. So in order to do that I'm going to create a new layer in my layers panel here on the bottom right. So I'm going to create a new layer and we'll just grab the brush tool and I'm going to make my brush nice and hard. So I'm just right clicking there to make that nice and hard and we'll drop the size of it down. We don't need such a big brush and we'll draw on a shape. So once we've drawn a shape on, then basically we have a shape now that we can transform. So if I go to edit, um, transform and scale, I can modify the scale and I can also do things under my edit and transform menu, like flipping it horizontally or vertically. So basically, if we want to mirror this, we need to make a duplicate of that layer. So I'm going to right click on my layer across here on the right hand side and go to duplicate layer up at the top. I'll leave the name the same. And then if we go to edit, transform and flip horizontal, we'll end up with a mirror image um, of that layer. So we'll end up with exactly the same layer. So I'm going to delete these two. And so we can use this to draw on shapes and stuff like that. So if we create a new layer quickly here, we can draw, for instance, half a smiley face. And then if we go to the layers panel, right click and duplicate that layer, then we can come up to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And we'll end up with the other half of that smiley face and we can just match them up nicely and we might have a bit of cleaning up to do but basically we have that drawing half and half so sometimes when you're drawing you might be using the, the pen tool to draw to make your, your line smoother um, and so on and so forth so for instance if we grab the pen tool here and we're drawing a path that we want to use um, the path and stroke option that we have so basically what that means is if we draw out a path we can now come to paths on the right hand side here and we can use the stroke on path option down here. So you can see my line here for that path is very thin. So I'm just going to grab my brush tool again and increase the width a bit and we'll stroke on that path there. So basically, if I want to mirror this, I need to come back to my layers to do that. So again, I'm going to need to make a new layer really. Um, in order to make this work a bit better. So we'll take a couple steps back. I'm going to delete this current work path and we will grab the pen tool and we'll just draw on a nice suit for our smiley faced person here. And we've got our work path. We can come back to our layers. I'm going to make a new layer. And then in the paths option, I'm going to come to stroke on path and make sure I select the brush tool first before I do that so I get a nice thick uh, path here and now that means that I have something that I can mirror here but if I go to edit transform and flip horizontal then it's just going to flip the path it's not actually going to flip what I've drawn so basically I need to come back to my layers and my layer 2 and then I will now deselect the path. So actually I'm going to click away from that path and make sure I've just got my layer selected. So when I came to the path, I just clicked in this empty space at the bottom to deselect it. And now we can come back to layer two and I'm going to duplicate that. So I end up with a copy of it and go to edit, transform and flip horizontal. And then I'm going to end up with the reverse of that. So you can see we're starting to build up a drawing here. Now if we want to uh, flip it um, right uh, across the middle here, we actually go to edit and free transform first and then we can set the point where we want it to mirror, so right in the middle um, of this shape. So if I set my anchor point here and if you don't see your anchor point you need, just need to toggle on the anchor point at the top left here and we can move that into position. So now when we go to edit transform and flip horizontal it's going to flip around that anchor point that we set so in the middle there and because we're working with two layers we've got kind of a suit set up here we can now go to the eraser tool grab that make it a little bit smaller so i can right click 
and make it smaller or I can use the square brackets uh, to the right of the P key to, to make it smaller as well. So if I use that I can make it bigger or smaller and then we can just erase or make it a bit harder as well. We can just erase this left side here. So basically now we're starting to build up that shape um, as we go along. So uh, you can stroke paths but then when you want to actually duplicate them you need to duplicate the layer not the path itself. So that's two ways that we can kind of duplicate these brush options that we're making. So the next option uh, if we use the, the pen tool is that we create a shape. So I'm gonna draw on up here let's draw half a hat okay and so we've got our shape here and so now with this shape if we want to duplicate that then basically we can do the same we can duplicate the layer down here so I'm just dragging that down to the new layers button to duplicate it or we can right click and duplicate the layer as well and now if I come back to my move tool I can go to edit free transform set my anchor point across the right hand side here and then we will go to edit transform and flip horizontal and it will flip it horizontally and then once we've kind of flipped our shapes we may need to do some modifications here obviously so we can come to our direct selection tool so click and hold on the arrow tool at the bottom of your toolbar here and go to the direct selection tool and then we can match up these these points um, and we need to select the different shape layers to be able to select the different points on those different layers. So it's a quick example. Uh, the lines aren't as smooth as maybe I would like, but you can see how we're duplicating that shape. So if we take this a step further, we'll grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw on the top of the hat here and use the direct selection tool just to kind of offset this a little bit and we'll press yes we're going to change it so we'll move this across to roughly the middle and now uh, bring this new rectangle up to the top duplicate it and then go to edit free transform and before we free transform this we actually need to go back to the move tool otherwise we're just going to be transforming the point so we'll now go to edit free transform we'll set our anchor across the right here and then go to edit transform and flip horizontal and it will flip to the other side there and we can move it into position hit enter and now by duplicating and mirroring different things we've created this mirrored shape so uh, we've missed off a bit of neck here maybe we just grab the brush tool quickly and we can just brush that in ourselves uh, here but you can see how we can quickly use the mirror tool to duplicate and kind of make uh, images work in a nice way there. So the other way that we can use mirroring as well is with type. So I'm going to actually delete all these layers. So we'll drag those to the trash and we're going to grab the, the type tool and I'm just going to delete all the placeholder text that's in there and we'll type in in capitals mirror so we can uh, now here basically mirror uh, this type so if I create a new layer so I've got my mirror copy I can now go to edit free transform um, it's going to move around this middle point which should be fine and then we'll go to edit transform and this time flip vertical and it will create a vertical version of that type so now you can see my type is mirrored there now there's some cool stuff we can do here um, for instance with the mirrored copy layer if we drop down the opacity we can kind of make it fade out a little and then we could also add a layer mask on here so this allows us to control the transparency of this new layer and then on the layer mask we can paint on there with the brush tool uh, now my layer mask is all white at the moment I'm going to paint on there with a, a soft edge black brush so I'm going to right click and take the hardness right down 
increase the size and then we can I'm holding down shift so it brings a nice straight line across here and I can just brush that across there and get the effect that the mirrored type is fading out. We could also take this uh, another step too so maybe we'd have a bit of a shadow behind the text in the background there so I'm going to come to my background layer and I'll grab the rectangle tool again zoom out just a little bit and we're going to create a nice big rectangle that kind of matches up with the bottom of my text there okay and let's zoom in to make sure that I'm catching the the bottom of the text there and I'm using command and plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out and now I can drop the opacity of this zoom out a bit more and then with the brush tool uh, I'm going to add a layer mask here first and then on this white layer again with the brush tool I'm going to just hold down shift and stroke across there and you can see now we kind of create this pretend 3D uh, kind of uh, shape so you can see with a few quick tricks there we can create a, a nice kind of cool mirrored effect and this could be with a text or other shapes that you've you've got that you want to make it seem like they're they're sitting on a surface so uh, the only one issue here is we've got the, the O kind of crosses the line if you can see there the O is kind of crossing the line there a little bit now this is still editable text so I can select my text and I can come to the options here and I can use um, in here the, the baseline shift just to nudge that up a couple of pixels so that it's on that line and then I can do the same with the text below so I'm going to double click here it's still editable text and I can do the baseline shift and this time it's going to do the strange thing of going down because it's the text is upside down and now we have kind of even that line out a bit for those two O's so that it uh, looks a bit more realistic so there's a few different ways in which we can mirror things in Photoshop and here with text um, it's pretty straightforward but then when you start using things like the pen tool you need to think about what you're mirroring whether it's the pen tool or the, the layer that you've stroked along a path and that type of thing. So there's a few different considerations to make there. So I hope that's useful. If you have any questions then leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next Photoshop or Final Cut Pro or InDesign tutorial. Just let me know if you've got any questions.